Well, your collective majesties, let's get this first strategy war council of the Four Worlds Alliance started. Hey, wait a minute. Who worked out these cockamamie seating arrangements? I did. Eh, yeah, figures. Only a low like commoner would be dumb enough to put me at the wrong end of the table. It is a round table, FEMA. There is no wrong end. Protocol, touch. It's all protocol. Pelvis, jump and prop. Yes. <clears throat> Most exalted tank and gracious <clears throat> monarch. <clears throat> if everyone is now properly seated, I'd like to open this council by... Hey, hey, who said you could open anything? You got three heads of state here. What should be opening, whatever needs opening. You miserable, slimy little reptile. Yeah, baby, I love you too. Jade, please, this isn't helping. I'll open the council. Sorry, kid, you're too young. I'm the ruler of Planet Fire. Still, perhaps as eldest here, I should... Oh, no, you don't, bug boy. You're just hogging all the glory. There is no glory here, FEMA. Only the need for survival. Then there ain't no reason I can't be in charge, is there? Everybody, please calm down. Let's take a breather to let tempers cool off. We'll reconvene in 10 minutes. My apologies, Graveheart. I fear I did not help the situation. It's not you, Kryos. It's me. I'm just not cut out to run this kind of show. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm not royalty or a general, just a minor. My friend, you are the only one with a heart to see what needs to be done. That is all that truly matters. Some dame. What's her story? She is Tekla, a great warrior and foe of the beasts who fell in battle saving our king. She was injured saving the minor designated Braveheart. Too bad. I wouldn't mind getting under the ice with her if you know what I mean. Ah! The greatest threat to our plans is a leader such as Greyheart. Remove him, and his alliance will quickly collapse. So what does this Tekla have to do with anything? It must be done in a way that will create confusion and suspicion by one they view as friend. Ugh, another one of your fancy, complicated plans. <laughs> Brute force would be so much simpler. Void, as ever, the decision is yours. No, my prince. But they need me. Your homeworld needs you more. <laughs> and what is your excuse, cowards? Eh, blow it out your nostrils, lava breath. We're, uh, uh, planning the next assault. By the great glacier, to be stuck here when the battle rages outside. Looking for a hero's death? Sorry to disappoint you. Entering our present.
That is the last of them. An appropriate beginning to a war council. Something is bothering you. That attack, it, it made no sense. It did seem to lack a specific target. And the force, it was too small to really accomplish anything. Sounds like you could use some help. Is it possible? Good news, my friends. Reports of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Tekla, I thought you were lost for good. Rejoice in being wrong. I am healed and ready to take up the fight once more. Welcome back. Your timing is excellent. Greyheart! What happened in here? There was a beast room present when I awoke. Then where is it now? I destroyed it. Poor Vox. He's a mess, Tekla. You think you can patch him up? Why waste the time? Oh, I merely meant it is beyond repair. And we have so much else to do. You're right. A lot's happened while you were on ice. And I want to hear all about it. Let us confer. Alone. After the War Council. We can fill you in during the meeting. Go on. I will join you in a minute. My friends, this is Princess Tekla, sole survivor of Planet Tech, the one who first warned us of the beast. My prince, we know nothing about this creature. How can we trust her? If Graveheart vouches for her, that's good enough for me. Yo! I got an extra seat right over here, good looking. Sorry, Fima. I play no favorites. Okay, so what's the story? Did the beast planet really eat your world? And you are? He is Prince Pyrus, ruler of Planet Fire, Lord of the Golden Light. How is it you know of Fema, but not my prince? Hey! Everybody knows who I am! Ha! I make sure of it! No, really! Does the Beast Planet actually eat other worlds? It does. And the same thing will happen to your worlds unless we can stop it. Based on her experience, I think it's best if I turn the floor over to Tekla. Are you certain about this? And why not? I have the knowledge you need. Sounds dandy to me, providing I get a little, uh, one-on-one -on -one counseling. Then if that's settled, let's get started. Graveheart, what is the purpose of this council? I felt we needed a unified war strategy for dealing with the enemy. Yes, that would make the Alliance very dangerous. <laughs> Talk to me. Last. Before I can develop a unified strategy, I must know what we have to work with. Meaning? I need the complete schematics and full details of all your weapon systems. Uh, no way, Toots. I ain't giving up that precious info to nobody. But Femur, she's trying to help. No, I agree with the Toad, my prince. Such information in the wrong hands could prove disastrous. And we have only just met this creature. To trust her would be madness. Still, it does seem a reasonable request, considering what we're asking her to do. Much though I dislike agreeing with the Vizier Graveheart, he does have a point. These are matters of state. To share such sensitive information... I understand. Perhaps you might all take a few moments to discuss it. Graveheart and I can wait outside. Don't you think we should have stayed to persuade them? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Graveheart!
I must speak with you alone. You're interrupting important business. This is important business. Do you always allow your underlings to behave so rudely? Jade is my friend and equal. We'll be right back. The weapon used on the guard, Vox, and the stasis tube was the same, a beast weapon. So, Tekla said- That was the only weapon discharged. If Tekla fired back, as she said- You're accusing Tekla? That makes no sense. She'd never do that to Box. Something is not right about her. Jade, I'm surprised that you... You're not jealous, are you? Listen to me, you thick-headed... Graveheart! Tekla! The Council has reached a decision. This is not over. It has been agreed, reluctantly, to give you full information about our weapon systems. On one condition, that you're the only one who sees it. It must not be shared with anyone else. I promise you, I will use this information solely for my own purposes. Oh, and we mustn't forget Planet Rock. I'll need the schematics for its battle moons. Sorry, I can't help you there. I've been exiled from Rock. Only King Mantle can give you that information. Then we must correct that. The battle moons are too powerful to be ignored. This council will reconvene when you have the weapons information for me. Let's talk about your exile situation. Privately. You seem greatly disturbed, Jade. I do not trust this Tekla. She grinds my stones. I must confess, something does not seem right. Perhaps we shouldn't rush into things. I tried to reason with King Mantle, but instead found myself exiled. Greyheart! I've had just about enough of you. And I have just barely begun. <clears throat> we must reconvene the Council at once. This had better be worth it. It's okay. I have everything under control. Not from where I'm standing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I regret to announce that I have changed my mind about the arrangement. But we had a deal! I need more time to consider. Ah, oh, that's it! I've had it with you bunch of Pastrin windbags! I'm out of here! Hey, what about us? We're not gonna be the only ones to reveal our secrets. Please, stay calm. We can work this out. You wanna talk to me? Try coming to Bone! If I don't blow you out of the sky first! Except you, doll. Ooh, you can drop by any time. Go after Femur. Do whatever you have to short of mayhem to keep him here. Tekla! We have to talk, alone. But- Just do what I ask, Jade. Please. I don't know what went wrong. Nothing. It's all perfect. Uh, you! You know! You made a big mistake mentioning Rock's battle moons. There's no way Tekla could have known about them. Who are you? Tell me! One more day, Toad. Do not make me force you to stay. Oh! That's supposed to be an incentive, Toots? <laughs> that depends. Do you want your head ripped off? Hey, I'm the high exalted emperor of the boundless bone empire, babe. You can take your threats and chew on them. Toodles. Lamprey's taken over Tekla's body and she's headed this way. We have to stop her. Gladly. Shots only! Don't damage Tekla's body! They're shooting at me! I've been double-crossed! Oh, 
Are you sure? Perhaps you should, um, go out and check your superiorsness. How's about I send you out instead, huh? Well, what are we waiting for? I'll get us out of here. doesn't know what he's in for. He's got Lamprey inside, hiding in Tecla's body. Ah, that explains much. Now I suppose we'll have to save the fool from himself. <laughs> Do we have to?